and welcome. You're watching Hat to Hat. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. Ukraine's cabinet of ministers approved the plan for implementation of the association agreement between Ukraine and the EU, the strategy of communication in the field of European integration for 2018-2021, and approved a national mechanism for coordinating the interaction of state authorities in order to protect the financial interests of Ukraine and the EU. To have a more detailed talk on the issue, we're joined in the studio today by Lubov Akulenko. She is the executive director director of the Ukrainian Center for European Policy. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hello. So the plan uh, I just talked about, it presumes over 2,000 different aims and tasks for Ukraine. Could you outline the main ones for our audience? Um, I, would I would like to stress that we should be happy with those, with those facts that uh, Ukraine adopted very important uh, document, Ukrainian uh, Cabinet of Ministers adopted such a document, since in such a way we are trying to show and to demonstrate to the EU that the uh, implementation of association agreement is a very important task mm -hmm. for us. And personally me, I was worrying very much that September 1st, when uh, association agreement came fully into force, will be like the last day when journalists will be interested to will have any interest to association agreement because this is, is not true we are very interested uh, uh, because <clears throat> it's very technical uh, agreement there are a lot of technical details uh, but when uh, you uh, called uh, and invited me to speak about such such a thing like implementation plan of association agreement i was inspired very much because it's not so easy to to involve journalists into the discussion about association agreement so if to be perfectly honest, it is a, a good step that uh, we adopted such a document. But we had such documents before. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some, some documents that were adopted in 2014, but the problem was that association agreement came into force fully only now. Mm -hmm. In 2014, it was like only one part of the agreement. And now we have the, the whole uh, the whole agreement. Uh, personally, me, I'm like an expert. I still uh, uh, did not see the text of this plan mm -hmm. because it is not uh, published. Uh, when is it going to be published? Uh, we were trying to understand uh, what is going on and what I I will be inside this plan. And we understand that uh, now uh, the government I is in the process of negotiation with other ministries mm -hmm. about different mm -hmm. tasks that should be included into this plan. But still, we do not know when it will become public. I, I suppose like t we will need to wait for two or three weeks. Uh -huh. But nevertheless, it has been stated that <clears throat> all the requirements that are written in the document should be implemented or fulfilled by year 2025. In case that doesn't happen, are there any sanctions that EU could impose on Ukraine for not implementing the talked before reforms? It is the, the biggest and the highest problem with association agreement. Since uh, when we have, uh, when we had with a liberalization plan, mm -hmm. we had a, a nice carrot, like free poss 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 possibility for people to, to travel free to EU. Mm -hmm. If we are speaking about association agreement, historically such agreements were negotiated with Poland and other countries of Eastern and Central Europe, and they, and they had a carrot. It was... Uh, uh, they had a possibility to enter the EU. Mm -hmm. We do not have such a carrot. And it is a problem for Ukraine because it is, it's very difficult to, to stimulate all our institutions to implement association agreement. How can they be changed for the better? What should be done, in your opinion? Uh, in the European Union? Um, in your opinion, I mean. In my, uh, in yeah. my opinion, um, it's a very sensitive political issue. Now, uh, personally, me, I understand that currently it, it is almost like Im impossible uh, to, to receive from EU the answer uh, when, uh, when they provide us possibility to, to enter the European Union. The only task that we should do is to implement the agreement because uh, it is a huge document that will help to transform our country from the post-Soviet country to a, a real European country that will have a possibility to trade our products not only to EU but also to all 
to all other countries. But to be perfectly honest, it is very it will be difficult to stimulate our state institutions and also our business because for our business it is a very difficult task to 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 start to to live with EU standards without this carrot like uh, entrance to the EU. Right now, uh, Ukraine, well, starting uh, year 2014, Ukraine has been trying to implement a number of very, very important reforms. And those reforms are already showing good results. So could we, could we just at least try to forecast on what step are we on that path to, towards EU at this moment? Uh, we should not mix all the reforms that Ukraine is implementing with association agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, association agreement also predicts some reforms, but they are very technical and they do not have any con a connection to anti-corruption reform, medical reform, etc., yeah. etc. Et uh, yes, we started to implement association agreement from 2014 and we can see some dynamic. Uh, and uh, uh, during this period, uh, we were analyzing how Ukraine is implementing association agreement and we can see that Ukraine is like implementing 15 or 20 percent of, of the obligations mm -hmm. that are included in the association agreement. Uh, it is, uh, the result is like 50-50. I cannot say that it is a catastrophe, but I also cannot say that it is very good. Why I cannot say that it is a catastrophe? Because it is, it is really all these changes that we have to make into our legislation. It is not only the question to, to change some norms in our legislation. It is the question that there are a lot of stakeholders in our country that are not ready to live with new EU standards because most of EU standards are very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to block this process on, on different levels. But mostly the process of implementation of association agreement is blocked in the Verkhovna Rada. So if to use this uh, logic that I see now that we are for during three years, we implemented only like 20, 25 percent of, of those obligations that we need to implement. So I, I suppose that till 2025, we will not be very successful. But I think uh, that the only thing that Ukraine should do is to implement the association agreement. And every time when we are speaking with EU, we should stress that we are implementing association agreement. Our results are f one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. and we are ready <clears throat> to become a member of EU. Only in such logic, I think that we can develop negotiations with EU if we want to become a member. We should not forget about those tasks because it are in agreement. Thank you so much. Thank you for this informative conversation. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. That was Lubova Kulinka, who is the executive director of the Ukrainian Center for European Policy. Thank you for watching and goodbye.